The seafaring Irish-American playwright and Nobel laureate Eugene O'Neill once said, the sea hates a coward. Well, under sail at the start of the 2014 Rolex China Sea Race, there are no cowards here. Among the 34-strong fleet, three veteran sea dogs with more than 150 years of sailing between them. The oldest and most famous is the 87-year-old skipper of race favourite Ragamuffin. Sid Fisher is a yachting legend. He is hailed as Australia's most successful offshore sailor, having competed in five America's Cups and 42 Sydney Hobart races. Fisher's talent was recognised way back in 1971, when he won the famous Fastnet race off the English coast, was named Australia's Yachtsman of the Year, and he was awarded the OBE by the Queen. 43 years on, he has no plans to stop. Not if I can help it. <laughs> I call it hanging in. Hanging in, you know. And that's what I do. I like the team effort, you know. It's a good, good healthy thing. It's good for the blokes and good, good for me. And, you know, the golden rule is you never let the team down. Weather beaten from countless races, Fred Kimmonth and Nick Burns co-own the Mandrake. Architect Burns and investment banker turned lawyer Kinmonth are best friends off the boat and the perfect partners at sea. He's wily. I'm a sort of sea. He's more scientific measurements, you know, all this, that, and the other. I'm a sort of seat the pants sailor. Fred, Fred tends to sail by the seat of his pants. And he's, very, he's very good. <laughs> he's, he's the, he's the I, I sail by numbers and the calculation. So uh, when you sail together in this race, it works very well. It's a perfect partnership. Yeah. OK, trim the sail, trim, trim the spinny. Somebody wind the spinny and pull forward a bit. You have to have a mixture of people on board. You've got to have young people and you've got to have old people. Um, and interestingly, the old people tend to be able to tough it out um, in rough conditions. But then you need young people who can do the energetic things like running around at the front, climbing up the mast and doing all that stuff. This four-day race will see the fleet plane, tack and power across 580 miles of the South China Sea, taking them from Hong Kong's Victoria Harbour to Monday's finish at Subic Bay, the former US naval base in the Philippines. There is no money at stake, just pride. For these vets, it's all about the challenge of the ocean. We're aboard the Mandrake, sponsored by EFG Bank, in training for the Rolex South China Sea race, from Hong Kong to the Philippines. And let's hope one thing on Monday, that these guys come through as champions and victors. John Dawson Bloomberg. Hey!